Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Kitty and I own a small jewelry business. And in this channel, I share all different types of jewelry that I make either for my business or something I found on internet or something I have been requested to make for the past, I don't know how many weeks, I have been making this Christmas related series. So that's what we're gonna be doing in today's video. But I just wanna put a little disclaimer. It doesn't have to be just for Christmas. You can change maybe the colors or whatever. But anyways, these are the two cute rings that we're gonna make. I'll put them on my fingers. As I said, like you can just change the colors or you can even have the same colors, it doesn't matter. It's just that these ones, these colors for me just resonate with Christmas. But yeah, this is how they look. Very cute, very pretty. And the best thing is they're super easy to make. Let's get started. The things that I am going to use are these red beads. Um, I, I think I got them from Hobbycraft or something like that. I don't remember. If you're in the UK, you would know Hobbycraft or maybe somewhere else as well. I don't know. Anyways, I got these ones ages ago, but I will link something similar in the description box. Then I have Miyuki beads size 11 slash 0. These are like golden ones. Then I have pair of scissors and then I have then I have a mat and then I have fishing line. And the size is 0 0.32 millimeter. Use this, you can see I'm <laughs> running out. Use this fishing line a lot for my business. I really like it. As I said, I will link everything in the description box as I always do. And let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is take some fishing line. I won't take too much, maybe about 40, 50 centimeters. It depends like how big or small you want the ring to be. I just like to have a bit extra because it's easier for me to work with the fishing line then. So the first ring I'm going to make is this one. Super, super easy. So I'm going to put one golden bead on the fishing line. Like so. And then I'm going to take four red beads and put two on one end of the fishing line and two on the other end of the fishing line. Like so. Then we take another golden bead and put each end of the fishing line through opposite side of the bead. Like so. And then I'm just going to hold both of the ends of the fishing line and then drag the bead down just to make sure the both ends are the same. This is how it looks. And now we repeat the same. We pull two red beads on one end of the fishing line, two on the other, like so. And then take one golden bead and put each end of the fishing line through the opposite side of the bead. Like so. And then we do it again. Two beads on one end, two on the other. One golden bead each end of the fishing line through opposite side of the bead. Drag it down. And this is how it looks. And you just keep going like this until you're satisfied with the size of the ring. And that's it. And then we will just tie it together and you're going to have a beautiful ring that you literally can make in like less than like 10 minutes probably. I did in time, but I don't think it would take much longer than that at all because it's pretty straightforward to do. So yeah, and I would, 
I would mix some colours together as well, like change the colours and stuff, just to make it more... For example, now for Christmas you can make like a red one or crystal or white one or something. And then for summer or something, you can just make different colours and it's still going to look absolutely amazing. I think that's the best part about making jewelry yourself is just you do whatever you like and change put the colors as you want okay so i can put one time one more time the red beads okay so i put the last time the red beads and now I'm not going to put the golden bead because what I'm going to do is just take the other side and just put one end of the fishing line through one side of the golden bead and the other end through the other side. And then when you pull it, it's just all going to go together nicely. And now you can just tie. I usually do it three times. You can do four times. I would definitely do more than two. Like so. You can also put a glue on just to make sure the knot does not untie itself. Cut off the, the extra ends. You can turn it inside out like so. And here's your first ring done. How quick was that? And how cute it looks. So pretty. Anyways, now we're going to do the other ring okay and this ring we're gonna take about the same length of fishing line and we're gonna start by making the inside of the flower so i'm gonna put four golden beads on one end of the fishing line So when they go down, this is how it looks. And then we take another golden bead and put each end of the fish line through opposite side of the bead. Like so. And then we hold both ends and just drag the bead down. So we basically created a circle. And now what we're going to do is Take one end and pull one red bead on and one gold bead on. Let it go down. This is how it looks. And now we take the same end and we put it back the fishing line through the red bead. Pull it, and this, this is how it looks, and then when you pull it to the end, it creates the little leaf. And now we take the same end of the fishing line, so it comes through here, and we're going to put it through this golden bead like so and now i do the same thing i pull one red bead on one golden bead on like so and then we take the same fishing line and put it back through the red bead. Like 
you pull it and this is how it looks and now we take the same end of the fishing line and we're just going to put it through the next golden bead and this is how it looks and now we just repeat that three more times so one red bead one golden bead let it go down put the fishing line through the red bead pull it this is how it looks then we put it through the next golden bead This is how it looks. And we do it two more times. One red, one golden. Put it back through the red, like so. Then we put it through the next golden bead. And now we do it one last time. Put it through the red bead. And this is how it looks. And now we're going to pull the end through this golden bead. So a little bit tight in there. But I think it's a bit harder for me to do because I need to make sure that it's on the camera as well. But for you, I think it's going to be a lot easier to do. Okay, so this is how it looks. And just make sure you pull both ends so all the beads go together like this. And to be honest, you don't actually have to just do, do the ring. You can make these ones and then make them in the bracelet or make earrings so anyways this is the top bit this is the back and now i'm just going to do the band and i'm going to do really really basic simple band like this but you can experiment and maybe make a bit different one i have a couple of videos on my channel where i make things so if you want to have a look for inspiration you're very welcome to do so but i'm just going to take both the ends of the fishing line together and just put the golden beads on and i just do as many as i need to fit the ring on my finger that is going to be different to what you're going to put so i'm not going to say how many i'm putting because it, it doesn't really matter because i don't even know i'm just putting and then i'm measuring on my finger to see if it fits or not you're very really welcome to do so as well this is literally how i measure i just wrap it around my finger so there's no like special way or something okay so that's enough for me and now I'm just going to take one end of the fishing line, it doesn't matter which one. So I'm just going to take one of the beads on the opposite side and just pull the fishing line through. I'm going to go through this one. The reason is because I just tried to do from the other one and it didn't work. So I'm just going with this bead and I'm just putting the fishing line through. And then when you pull the ends, 
and this is how it looks so one of the ends went through the bead and the other one is just coming through the band and now what we need to do is just tie the two ends of the fishing line together and that's it and that's okay oh no it's somewhere in there and now i'm just gonna cut off the loose the extra ends and this is how it looks how cute is that i like it it's really really pretty here's the other side and if i put it on my finger this is how it looks it's like a little sticking out but that's fine because it's gorgeous isn't it now i have two of them maybe i should sell these what do you think no but yeah a lot of rings and a lot of cute rings really really cute anyways this is it from me if you enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i think these rings look absolutely amazing and as i said you can change the colors as you want i just think that these ones for christmas little little cute jewelry um will look absolutely amazing so if you enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel it really really does help me keep doing this and i hope you enjoy my videos in in general anyways i will see you next time bye